Hello Youtubers, uh, this is Max from Malaga World Games with uh, another update from my English content. Uh, I didn't post for, well, a few days uh, already, uh, but I wanna just uh, keep you update. Uh, this is gonna be my last entry for uh, Get It Painting Challenge, uh, New Year's uh, Nick Challenge, alright? Because Mars uh, just started, I'm filming this on uh, well, last day, on uh, February, but I know for sure it's gonna be uploaded uh, after that. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna, gonna actually it's gonna be a mix. Uh, first of all, I'm just gonna present you uh, what I finished on uh, fe February, the end of February, which is uh, my uh, objective markers. You already showed these ones, which are the first part of my. Um, giveaway that I already well actually it's gonna be if I'm publishing this on weekend I'm gonna make the draw on weekend and hopefully on Sunday will be on internet so if any of you were participating on the draw uh, well good luck okay so these are the first objective markers uh, you already saw them I put them some parts from Tau from uh, <clears throat> Chaos uh, Space Marines uh, Imperial uh, Eldars and well some bolters and stuff all right just to make them each objective markers just a little bit different and these are the other ones because uh, so many people participate uh, are participating on the draw uh, there is like 95 entries and uh, i uh, as, unfortunately as many people just took the objective markers the customized objective markers as a fair option well, I had to work on a second one, and these are the other option. All right. Um, I think on Friday will be the last update of uh, how did I make these ones. I made them on Spanish because on English, I mean, you know how to apply transfers, you know how to make chipping. Actually, uh, the last uh, two painting tutorials that I upload upload in English as well from my colleague Alex. Uh, he's uh, showing us uh, the different techniques from Vallejo. Vallejo, sorry, uh, just to do chipping and weathering. So I just applying the same techniques here. I'm just miss, uh, I'm missing uh, a little bit of uh, grash on these uh, objective markers, but will be done when uh, uh, the draw is uh, is made. Um, I use uh, some uh, steel water technique over the the oil. Uh, well, the. Uh, the containers all right because I didn't like uh, the end of uh, this well if you see on the there is a line you know but I try to uh, cover the gap and well it's not hundred percent but I think for objective markers are quite okay uh, of course all of them are uh, sealed on varnish and everything as I say I'm just missing the the grass and a little bit details maybe here the some uh, glass um, blue uh, glaze sorry on on the light but these are done so I made it finally and uh, I'm just gonna start with my new projects I'm gonna try to get in the project of the terrain uh, the corner terrain from uh, Idic uh, from Nick uh, sorry from Idic beer because uh, actually I have uh, my whole battlefield to finish painted so probably I'm gonna I'm gonna get some entry there this is what I was working yesterday night. Um, I'm gonna play uh, a Corny Diamond, Corny Mokin um, um, army in a in a in a league that we're gonna play with some uh, well amateurs. I mean, it's gonna be a mix, but I didn't want it to go full chaos, full power. So I uh, decided to um, use my Corny Diamond King uh, army, just a full strength Corny Diamond King, which is uh, not super uh, abuse because I'm gonna use things like this uh, defiler that is just base codes or right? I wanna I wanna finish it and also I'm gonna use uh, a force fin so this force fin I use it uh, to make a tutorial about how to paint uh, red and how to make so how to make it um, 
all right for the for any tournament you know just the basic stuff but i want to finish it and also i want to finish the demon prince um so what i'm gonna do is uh in uh, hopefully in the next week or this week actually uh, at least one hour every night i'm gonna try to paint a little bit and i'm gonna use i'm gonna paint this uh, little fella and my old uh blood leather um uh, that it was uh sorry it's not a blood leather uh blood thirster yeah blood thirster the, this is a metal piece and i have them i bought them on on i think 92 something like that or 97 and it's um uh, well it's quite uh, damaged i just made the the base because it was on a square one i mm, broke the the wipe and i s just changed it with uh, a new one but uh, because actually the, the metal one was uh, broken in three parts so it was no use so i need to look for the end of the wipe all right and use it basically because i'm gonna i'm gonna run on my list i'm running a, a chaos uh, lord on a juggernaut with the special relic that if he dies it appears a uh, a bloodthirster so i'm gonna use i'm gonna use this one i'm gonna finish painting my demon prince because the trick is just that uh, lord in juggernaut when he's dead i mean if i reach the seven uh, blood points i'm gonna swap it for a demon prince that is gonna keep the relic so he's gonna uh, continue killing of course this uh, demon prince is still uh, a lot of work in progress i just finished the 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 wings and I want to work on the on the muscles a little bit and then uh, finish the armor start working on on the horns and everything I'm not really worried about the face because uh, this is from a defiler I cut the the horns from the defiler and he's gonna use a special helmet you know so I'm not really worried about the face because it's gonna finish like this and uh, I want to I didn't want him on uh, the armor on, on bronze, on pure bronze, or everything on red, so I decided that he's gonna wear a black armor so I can use him if I want as a demon prince from the Black Legion as well. Um, you know that this is a corn demon king army, so it doesn't care too much where the legion the legionnaire is coming, it's the important is just the blood flow. So I'm gonna work harder on this body because I'm using him for a lot uh, a, 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 quite a lot of time on, on battles and it's never it's never done so I wanna I wanna finish this and I wanna finish as well the forge me because I already use him on battles and the the base is already is like this and I wanna finish this uh, base I wanna finish as well the Heldrake because the base is not finished I wanna give him details so what I'm gonna work on March is gonna start uh, starting by these uh, things I'm gonna uh, let's gonna uh, level up the details from uh, from the miniatures and uh, of course finishing the bases so finishing parts of the army completely and I'm gonna start as well with the space walls from my front if I can which uh, I think I will uh, I'm gonna try to work out on the building as well on the other hand um, well I have many things on work in progress. I got these uh, objective markers from uh, the Games Workshop store. I think I'm gonna just, uh, well, cut the, of course, grab the the, 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 the card. I'm, I'm thinking about uh, gluing them on uh, on a plastic uh, base. Maybe, well, 32 millimeters. Maybe 32 millimeters is gonna be fine. I'm gonna see if I can, or maybe some plastic card or something. Uh, just to give them more uh, durability because I think they are okay and uh, well you know something else um, what else well um, I'm back of uh, I'm back on business I'm back on work I already work for uh, two weeks and I have these two weeks uh, on uh, annual leave on holidays so um, I'm gonna try to get myself up again with the hobby especially with the brasses and uh, start working on the rest of the things so thanks for everything guys i will keep you updated hopefully more uh recent you know <laughs> like at least uh, one video every week i leave you this lovely fella if you want to have a look of him 
because uh, this is made from two defilers. Uh, I really like how it finishes. I like it much more than defilers. And actually, the problem from the defilers is just the <coughs> the well the city cost price. But as uh, we are playing on a on a game that uh, it supposes balance, uh, we are uh, using some some meta that um, if I'm let's say uh, using 40 corn uh, dogs uh, 40 flesh hounds for example in in the game I will not be able to uh, use any of the other good stuff from corn uh, uh, king because I will use all my points on that so I have to make an army quite balanced and actually that's why I'm, I'm, I'm carrying on uh, a force fin and a defiler which these two fellas are 400 points and in a corn diamond king 400 points on two vehicles is not really a good uh, investment on points but these are my anti ord uh, so if anything comes close I will pump up a pipe I mean um, uh, a big uh, area like the battle cannon I will shoot them with the uh, um, ectoplasma and the other uh, cannons and then I will uh, charge with the defiler so it will give me some balance that's all guys thanks for watching and uh, keep you updated as soon as possible if you if this is the first video you are checking out have a look on my channel there is uh, a couple of uh, the parts of the channel that is fully English like get this painting challenge with all the evolution that I got in my different armies the battle reports that are I think are important or are uh, useful for the uh, mm, international community I'm uh, doubling them as well on English and you have them on another list as well and uh, well mm, some thoughts that actually it's long it's time ago that I mean it's long time ago that I'm not doing some thoughts so I will think I mean I think I will do a special uh, video soon about my thoughts of um, Seventh edition and what I hope and what I expect on eighth edition. That actually I'm working on with this with my uh, subscribers in Spanish. I already did a couple of videos on them and they I I show them my ideas and they give me more more ideas and uh, when I get this video in uh, complete. Uh, in Spanish, I think I will just double it as well on English because I think it's important all this uh, special theory hammer that I'm doing with my colleagues. Of course, in the English version, there is a lot of channels that they go already this advantage tactics, this uh, theory hammers, uh, this philosophical thoughts on the on the game, uh, but um, on the Spanish version there is not many on on, uh, on YouTube you will find these talks maybe in uh, blogs and things like that but there is not many people I mean not all the people that uh, it's following all this scenario through YouTube uh, are um, used to get this information as well on uh, on the blogs or they don't have time uh, so I think it's uh, it's a good option uh, just to share all this information with everybody once again, thank you and uh, have a lovely day. And if you paint, go on and do it harder. Cheers. Happy Wargaming. Muy bien, Wargamers, pues eso es todo por ahora. Como siempre, agradeceríamos que añadierais comentarios. Me importa mucho y agradezco mucho críticas constructivas para mejorar el canal. Me importa sobre todo que añadáis vuestros propios comentarios acerca del material que hemos expuesto en los vídeos, vuestras opiniones, eh, vuestras experiencias, vuestras sugerencias para nuevo material. Me da ideas para construir nuevos vídeos. Me gustaría por favor que compartierais estos vídeos en vuestras redes sociales en caso de que os haya gustado y así podréis, podáis eh, propagar el, el canal y que podamos hacer un crecimiento más exponencial. Me gustaría también que si os gustó el material que hemos expuesto me lo demostréis eh, pulsando el botón de me gusta. Eso me ayuda, me da bastantes energías eh, para seguir produciendo material e intentando mejorarme día a día con todo lo que os expongo. Como siempre, invitarte a que si eres nuevo en el canal, te suscribas a él para poder tener acceso a todas las nuevas actualizaciones una vez que somos vídeos a la red. Te invito a que eches un vistazo al resto de vídeos y reproducciones que tenemos en el canal.
canal hay mucho material que seguramente es interesante para ti. Gracias si habéis llegado con la reproducción del vídeo hasta aquí, significa que nos estáis aumentando los minutos de visualización, dándole a YouTube idea de que este canal es bastante importante y poniéndolo en las listas top de eh, acceso a nuevo a contenido, sobre todo para gente, recomendaciones y demás, con lo cual nos estáis expandiendo, ayudando a que crezcamos y podamos difundir todo este contenido. Muchas gracias como siempre, desearos que paséis una buena tarde una buena mañana o una buena noche dependiendo a qué hora estéis viendo estos vídeos y como siempre si estéis jugando partidas o pintando disfruta de lo que estéis haciendo happy wargaming y nos vemos en breve